welcome to a brief history of Jagger. Well, Jagger is not only unique by its roots and by its international community, as I have already said in a former tutorial. No, even its history is quite special. And Jagger does not have roots in the medieval times, as some people might suspect when they are seeing it first. No, Jugger is really unique in that respect as well, because it has been a screenwriter who invented Jugger. And this was David Webb Peoples, screenwriter and director of Blood of Heroes, also called Salute to the Jugger. And David wanted to have something special. In his movie Blood of Heroes, or as said, Salute to the Jugger, one is shortened, the end is missing, so try to get the full version. <laughs> I can only recommend that. Um, he tried to make a movie about a group of, well, some kind of sportive traveling musicians. That was the analogy he used when I spoke with him about why did you invent a film with a small team of juggers traveling around the desert after the apocalypse. And, well, he said he was inspired by the short story Rollerball, but he didn't want to have big companies in the back background steering everything and stuff like that. No, David wanted to have a small group, as said, like traveling musicians, fighting against the teams of each village and making their way down to the elite team of the Red City, a big vault below the desert, and play against this elite team. So a very sportive, very individual, quite anarchic aspect. And, well, I like it personally. And um, David said that the term jugger is also artificial. It does not exist, in fact. You have the bird, falco jugger, which is the Latin term for this bird, but you do not have jugger as a word before jugger has been shaped. You have juggernaut, which is a maneuver in football, for example. And David said that uh, when he made Blade Runner, his daughter came up with the idea not to say robots or something like that, but to say replicants to these artificial uh, intelligences, to these persons around there. And so he went the same road with Jagger. He shortened Juggernauts to Jagger and used that as the main name for the sport. But of course, if you have seen the Jagger film, you know that it is quite brutal. There are chains all over the place, steel rods, people get beaten up really badly, limbs are broken, ears are bitten off and eyes are gouged. So that's not something you want to see in your park, I guess. And uh, well, your insurance would also have a word to say about that. But some people thought, well, that looks fascinating. We want to make a real sport out of it. And so in Germany, around 1993 perhaps, um, some people in Heidelberg, Karlsruhe, Hamburg, from the Dilettanten live role-playing group, they included Jagger in one of their live role-playing events. And their, their zombies played for a loaf of bread. I think zombies against ogres or something. Um, and Berlin claims that around the same time they also invented Jagger, but from a different angle. They took the post-apocalyptic angle from the famous sea base below Berlin. It's a really nice nerd base. If you visit Berlin, go to the sea base. If they have an event when you are there, it's really worth it. So Berlin and Hamburg, Heidelberg, Karlsruhe, they didn't know of each other, both through post-apocalyptic and live group. When they met, they were very astonished to see each other playing the same sport, Jagger, playing it with padded gear, of course. But you can see, if you watch the pictures uh, from the first German championships in 1998 in the famous Mauer Park in Berlin, a place I also can recommend very much, um, then you can see that the Berlin faction really has post-apocalyptic gear like gas masks, huge Q-tips with huge padding and stuff like that. And the Hamburgians are playing in kilts. They, they are already with some kind of jerseys and their gear, their spars are looking like wooden rods. So they played against each other in the Mauer Park. But even before, the first sportive jugger tournament ever we know of has happened in Hamburg and there Berlin and Hamburg already met. It was exactly the same uh, drive that Berlin wanted to have, a sportive competition and stuff like that, not only some kind of a cosplay or live role-playing thing, but sports, real sports, when you, where you can play with full speed and full force. In 2000, the Australians learned from our German website that Jugger was already out there and being played, and so they decided, well, we can do the same, and they introduced a special kind of sport jugger with own rules uh, to Australia. 
So it spread to Australia. A bit later, a Hamburgian player, around 2006-2007, um, went back to Dublin, Mark Hill, and he founded the Irish Jagger team. And two years later, we have Jagger turning up in Spain. So Spain also started playing. And it was around 2007-2008 where Jagger really exploded in Germany. There were more and more cities in Jagger. The sport became more and more sportive, more and more elaborate. Uh, Australia went to the first German Opens in 1998 in Berlin. And so uh, the international exchange became a custom. Well, a bit later Jagger spread even further around the world to America and we had an American live role playing group that is reported to have played uh, live role playing post-apocalyptic Jagger already in 1992, uh, but it was not before uh, the midst of uh, 2000 that they also started to play Jagger in a sportive way, as we know of, and quite recently uh, Jagger started to take off in America as well as a sportive event. So the Jagger community is not only very active, uh, it's also very travel happy. Um, People are traveling to Spain to take part in tournaments. Australia is traveling to Ireland, to Germany, wherever, to play against other teams. And um, Jagger really has a very special atmosphere there. In 2009, the first Jagger League Council meeting was held of the so-called nine cities, so there were representatives of nine cities present, to make a more formal uh, rule set for the Jagger League in Germany, and they still come together and shape the Jagger League rules and even referee manual. So Jagger developed further and further. In 2012, I was able to introduce Jagger to Sweden and we had our tournament uh, in connection with Metal Svenskan, a big music festival in Örebro, the next big city here. So as you can see, Jagger is really growing. It's still a very special sport. It gets more and more formalized, of course, but I hope that at least a bit of the anarchy is preserved because the most important thing I think on uh, a tournament is the time after a tournament when you're sitting together and laughing and having a good time and even while you're playing that you are not only wanting to win but that you are also enjoying it to play against others and with others, with other countries, with other people uh, and having a good time. I think that is a really great international exchange, the best sport can be we have here with Jagger, a really enjoyable international exchange. When I did my research for my first Jagger book, I found the history of Jagger very interesting and even today it is quite a thing because many conflicts that t may turn up today, if you post something on the main Jagger forums in Germany for example, many of these conflicts and tensions, they root back into the history of the sport of Jagger. And if we look at the history, then we see that there is not just one sport of jugger or not one style of jugger. There are many different styles. And every style is a style in its own right. For example, the Czechs have a fantastic post-apocalyptic style. Watch the video on YouTube from the 2015 tournament. It's very interesting and very stunning indeed. Ale to, že tě zákumatý čařům nevadí. Ne, ne, ne. Then we have the LARP style, the live role-playing style, um, for example from Antgart in the US, but just even today Jagger is part of live role-playing events. And then we have the Sport Jagger style, maybe the most well-known by now. Even the sport jugger style has different styles by itself. 
For example, we have the German style, which has become more or less the international style, you could say, for tournaments. Um, and then you have the Australian style. And the Australian style is quite different from the German Jagger style, because the quicks are starting in a circle and the other players are engaging each other after the ball has left this circle. So quite a different approach than the 5 against 5 charging attack that we know from the most well-known sport jugger style. So there is not one stuff, there are many stuff. Woo!